I love traveling solo. It nurtures my adventurous soul, makes me self-reliant and questions my life choices. <laughs> Jokes apart, as much as I love to explore new places and meet new people, sometimes the introvert me prevents from doing this. So, this time I will explore a brand new place and talk to people and be more sociable. Off I fly on a new adventure, this time to Somerset, England. Day 1. I visit the city of Bristol and the Clifton Suspension Bridge. Overlooking the Avon Gorge, it's one of the oldest surviving iron suspension bridges in the world and is truly iconic. Must visit. Some mesmerizing views later, I treat myself to a nice cozy dinner at a local Thai restaurant and I make a new friend. Hello. <laughs> Namaste. Thank you so much for making that extra dish for me. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Say that in Thai. How, how do I say thank you in Thai? Oh, you have to tell this one. All that is for thank you? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> and thank you, my Hua, is uh, Yindi. Yindi means uh, welcome. You come here. Okay, I'll just say in Hindi then. Dhanyavad. Kokuma ka. Kokuma ka. Kokuma ka. Yes, sir. Thank you. Oh, thank well, you. Well, so not bad for day one. It was a short day today. I explored a bit of Bristol a gorgeous city in southwest England and check into YHA for the night. Day 2, a cold misty morning. Some more rains welcome the day. Today, I am exploring the historic spa town of Bath or Aqua Sulis in Latin. Founded in 1st century AD by the Romans, the city is named after its glorious public baths featuring the natural hot springs of this area. My first pit stop is the Museum of Bath. One can easily spend a few hours in the museum, listening to the remarkable stories from a bygone era, admiring at the remains of the mystical Temple of Sulis Minerva and the stunning pieces of medieval artworks, pottery, coins and handicrafts in display. The curative properties of water from the thermal springs were widely known, which made Bath popular as a spa town and treatment centre in the Georgian era. So, I decide to take a little sip of the elixir. Well, don't ask about its taste. Next, I stroll around exploring the many souvenir shops and pick up some memorabilia to take back home. Bath is famous for its soaps, oils, gemstones and chocolates. Next on my list is the Bath Abbey, a space that's alive with music and prayer, art and history. After half a day of exploration, I sample the local delicacies. Bath is famous for its buns, cheese and fudge. There are plenty of options from swanky cafes to vintage eateries. Next, I spend some leisurely time in the Royal Victoria Park and the Pulteney Bridge. River Avon flows nearby and there are canal rides and many water sports to indulge on a warm day.
It's late afternoon now and I make my way to the accommodation for the night at Vayeche, a beautiful secluded property atop the Bathway Hill. I pass by a beautiful meadow along the way, a sight of pleasing brilliant yellows. I spend some time soaking up the warm rays of the setting sun, relishing the serenity of the place. The clumsy me reaches the hostel and falls into a pool of muddy waters. The rest of the evening is spent in washing, cleaning and worrying about the wet cloths drying soon as I wasn't carrying much spares with me. Fortunately, a kind lady shows and offers use of a dryer and it's all sorted. All's well that ends well. Day 3. A gorgeous morning, but no time to spare. Have to catch an early morning bus to Bristol. Today I am boarding the cross-country train from Bristol to Exmoor National Park, an area of outstanding natural beauty. My first stop is Watch It, home to the Fossils Beach, Helwell Bay. I embark on a short walk to the beach to try my luck and collect some prehistoric fossils. Sandstone rocks along the beach are over 200 million years old and contain ammonite fossils. Good luck finding some. On my way back, I stumble across this beautiful statue of the ancient mariner, depiction of the classic poem written by Samuel Coleridge when he lived here. My absolute favourite. Next, I hop on the West Somerset Railway a classic vintage steam train to my next destination, Minehead. From Minehead, I board the Exmoor coaster to my next destination, Podlock. Dotted with picturesque villages and surrounded by the heather-clad hills of Exmoor, Porlock is my pit stop for the night. I quickly check into my accommodation, Myrtle Cottage, a vintage property built in 1573. Yes, it's that old. Beautifully set up, smug and cosy. I instantly fall in love with it. We're here at the Vista Centre. Yeah. That's the road to Porlock we are. Okay. This is the main high street through Porlock. Yeah. Huh. And the stop is here by the other car park at the far end of the road. I head out to explore the Porlock Marsh, a dynamic, constantly evolving landscape bordering the saltwater and freshwater habitats. Much of the area is designated as a site of special scientific Hello. interest. Hi, Louis Jui Mui Pui. Hello. <laughs> Darpok, that was just a car. I watch the sun set over the marshland as the seawater with the rising tide gradually claims the marshland. It's a beautiful poetic moment, a quiet moment of reflection. Day 4 in this beautiful part of the world. I'm totally in love with this cozy B&B. It's gorgeous and the hosts are super warm. I'm treated to a royal breakfast and some friendly banter. Hello. Hello. 
this other lovely host. Did you, you enjoyed your stand much? Yeah, cottage. yeah, and I did. We would love to welcome you back and all your friends as well. <laughs> I'll pass that on. Safe on the journey. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. After a great start to the day, I embark on the next leg of my journey, North Devon. I reach Linmath, a charming English village adored by poets and artists alike. Many of the greatest pieces of English literature are believed to have been inspired by the pristine beauty of this area. The rugged coastline of Exmoor is home to some of the most spectacular walks in England. After a stroll through the town centre, I hop on the Linmath train the highest, steepest water-powered cliff railway in the world. The short ride offers panoramic views of the Exmoor coastline. At the top of the cliff lies the picturesque town of Linton. As I walk through its laid-back alleys, I tell you, it's hard not to fall in love. From Linton, I decide to take up the Valley of Rocks hike. It's a beautiful sunny day and the scenery astoundingly beautiful. On the trail, I'm accompanied by feral goats that roam freely on the jagged cliff ridges. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, find mum. She's on the on the rock there. Perfect day. That's how she learns. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> valley of Rocks is a U-shaped dry valley that runs parallel to the sea. With its unusual rock formations and caves, it is believed to have been formed during the last ice age. On my way back from Linton to Linmath, I walk along the poet's path with poems from all over the world keeping me company. The poetic verses float around as the cool sea bridge embraces me. It's romance in the air. The rest of the afternoon, I spend exploring the little shops and cafes around in Linmath. There are plenty of interesting things to do around, like getting your portrait in Victorian style get-up, portraits of your pets, relishing local fudge, chocolates and pasties. A special mention to Marius Art Studio, as I sample his collection of beautiful art pieces I realize what an unexpected trip this has been. How long you have been painting for? Uh, ever since I was a child, really, and I and I enjoy it a lot. So. Did Did you learn from somebody? No. Self taught. No, I've just done it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's brilliant. I saw beautiful places, 
I met beautiful people who shared a tiny part of their lives with me. Sitting by the river, relishing a delectable spinach ricotta pasty, I feel gratitude for these little moments. I treasure the exquisite things I'll be carrying home along with the memories of this beautiful place. The smiles and stories of the Thai server I met in Bristol. The warm hospitality of Neil and Tyrone from Porlock. Devon's local artist Marius, whose tiny fraction of talent I am taking home. These are not deep lasting friendships, but I know. Each time I revisit the memories of this beautiful part of the world, they will definitely bring a smile to my face.